there. This is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode nine of our Thor walkthrough series. Uh, we have covered uh, oscillators so far. Uh, if you missed that and you're looking for more information about oscillators, go back uh, from episodes three through eight, and you can learn about all the different oscillators uh, in in Thor in Reason. So uh, here we're going to talk about filters and the filter envelope itself that controls those filters, and um, we'll have uh, we'll have individual episodes that cover each type of filter. Um, but first, we're going to talk a little bit about routing and activating said filters. Uh, so we covered a little bit of this back in uh, episode two. Um, but uh, we're going to go over it again because it bears repeating. So here I have a sound with no filter. It has a lot of harmonic content, which is intentional. So we can, uh, we can hear it get removed by the filter or, or altered in with some cases. So how is this being routed right now? Um, it's You follow your routing path. So out of the oscillator, this, this is the oscillator and into the mixer, see the arrow goes into the mixer, then it's going, in our case, it's going up, over, and up to here. One is turned on, that's oscillator one that it's referring to, and there it is in the filter. So right now we've got the filter bypassed. Let's, try, let's select filter, low pass is fine. And Now let's say we, if you want, just just to follow up on routing again, uh, from the mixer, this goes, the mixer also goes down here to filter two. Let's say I wanted a duplicate that has no filter on it. I hit one again, and then I hit the, I turn on this routing to the amp. And I've got both, I have the best of both worlds. So you can hear it sweep there. It adds it back. So, um, so just hit, be aware that's how your routing goes. And what, regardless of these two filters, whichever you're using, you got to turn on the oscillators. Otherwise, you're not using that filter. You're not doing anything with it until you've turned on one, two, or three. I am. Of course, not talking about if you're using the matrix down here uh, and you've changed changed route routing or done something different with that. So ignore that. We're not talking about that right now. If you're if you already know how that works. Um, so then we also have filter three over here, and filter three is the end of the line. Um, this little module is the end of the line for all of your all of your routing. So um, if you select a filter here, it applies to everything. So, yeah, we'll do a comb. Very noticeable. So, so it doesn't matter. You know, you got one turned on over here. Then you are you're gonna that filter applies to it. No matter no matter how you've routed everything here, filter three is gonna affect the master sound. That's your routing. Be aware of the way things are being routed. Uh, to take advantage, take full advantage of your filters. Um, so, and so we're either you're running them in sequence or you're running them parallel. If you want two filters applied to the same sound, then this, you see the routing here into the shaper, then it keeps going here and you can redirect it to apply a second filter to a sound. So, again, it's only turned on here and I've run them, we're running in sequence. Boom, 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 boom. I don't have it turned on here because I didn't need to. And then it's, so it's kind of here, here, bounces up, over, down. This directs it here, goes up, over, into the amp. So there you go. So we know the filter exists and I haven't uh, edited the, uh, the filter envelope here at all, but that's how it's, so depending on, this is your, your ADSR attack, decay, sustain, release envelope on your filter is gonna affect the final sound. So if I, if 
first we're going to change the frequency here. So you can hear it sweep up right there and then drop back down. So it's going up, boom, drops down. Let's, let's do a little more dramatic. And then see the sustain. After it passes these two, it's going to the sustain. And you can hear, you know, that's the frequency it's sweeping. And then if if it has a long enough release, then you have your your release envelope. Let's we'll make it have a longer release here. So six seconds. Verses. So a little bit harder to hear that release, it's there, but that's what it is. So, so that filter envelope is whatever you've done here in any of your filters, this is what's controlling those. So it doesn't matter which one it is. So you heard it drop back down there. drops down so Your, your gate trigger for your filter, you know, essentially your on or off switch. It's not exactly the on or off switch, but more or less. Um, so you turn it off and then you're, you don't have filter anymore, basically. Um, you do, but not, you don't have filter envelope. So there is your there's your filter routing. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about this low pass ladder filter, uh, what all these buttons and sliders and knobs mean, um, and how to use them in your music. So like, and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this content and I will see you next time. Cheers.